What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some of the current data points, what just came out associated to the company itself, and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that said, let's get right to it. So SoFi did go down 2.71%. So a little bit more of a backwards day. I think a lot of people were anticipating because of NVIDIA earnings that there was going to be a broad market kind of push higher. But a lot of chatter about recession started to happen. So kind of the inverse happened today today so it wasn't really going according to plan but beside the point you did see a lot of institutions getting into SoFi and uh, today there was 52.7 million shares being traded 45.7 is the average after hours you're seeing it nice uh, a nice bump up so 1.61 percent and that is because of what just came out from SoFi no actual news but there was two documents submitted so an 8k kind of goes to show the actual results from the shareholder meeting from May the 21st so nothing really crazy for that but then you also had this right here so a form four and it shows good old Anthony Noto did buy shares 28,900 shares transaction code P meaning purchase using his own physical money so he bought another $200,000 of SoFi this literally is one of the best CEOs out there um, so he's trying his very best to change the sentiment like I said I think a lot of people are just very frustrated with SoFi just the fact that's not being able to hold any gains and one way to do that is buy the damn stock show that you believe in it and so yeah he's definitely putting his money where his mouth is that was done today as well so may the 23rd so pretty kick-ass stuff these are all the transactions that have occurred from insiders over this last little bit so you do see chad who is evp uh, president workforce solutions that is transaction code s so that did come out on the 14th so that is a straight up sell not for tax purposes because if it is for tax purposes it is transaction code f but even if we click on good old anthony he's been buying like a lot so transaction code p p so that was on the 6th as well as the 23rd granted exercised a couple purchases that was near the tail end of 2023 so he's probably one of the only ceos in 2023 when everything was just shitting the bed and uh, pardon my french to actually buy the stock like he's bought so much even if you kind of look right here so he's going absolutely crazy ham actually pretty much this time last year so in may so he was going crazy purchase 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 like he's i don't know i gotta give it to him round of applause so he's definitely trying his very best to change the sentiment so let me know your thoughts on that and if you think it's helping or do you think it's not what's your viewpoint and when it comes to shorts they did return about 439,000 shares 16.41 percent of the free flow is being shorted works out to be 170.41 million shares overall are being shorted utilized 69.41 cost to borrow average 1.14 percent and then cost to borrow minimum is 0.95 percent so kind of interesting stuff and this is why i like to analyze this information because by shorts returning some shares and it being a very red day kind of shows it's more of an overreaction and that's actually one common thing that shorts did not saying for instance whoever's shorting sofi is the same as evs but I've been looking at a lot of EVs and Short's been returning some shares. So I don't know, maybe they just feel like today is a broad market overreaction about the pullback. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that and if you think that there's any correlation or not. When it comes to this, so options, 5.62 million in calls, 2.28 in puts. Sentiment-wise, 47% of all the options being done today were optimistic and bullish. And kind of the call options are orienting for it to be above $7. So possibly a nice little reversal going on there then looking at puts you do see a consensus for it to be sub seven dollars so clearly seven dollars is a very strong pivot but based on this clearly it goes to show that there's more upside than down so what's your viewpoint on that and then just to give you a quick overview of this so this is the current open interest there's around twenty one thousand at the seven forty one thousand at the 750 so in my opinion i think 
kind of the likelihood of SoFi staying above $7 by tomorrow is kind of out the window. There might be a recovery, possibly into the, the 90s maybe, but yeah, I don't think that it's going to close above $7 regrettably. So not the best information, but SoFi has always struggled with these very strong resistance points brought on by options. And these are some of the transactions that have occurred on the dark pool. So dark pool is often enough linked to shorting. A couple of big ones, 5.89 million, 1.3 2.5, 2.7 multiple times. So that clearly was probably the same institution, 8.07. So a lot of big money is getting in and out of SoFi through both the secondary market as well as the dark pool. Because like I said, I think institutions were literally waiting for NVIDIA earnings to give the rubber stamp saying A-OK. -okay. So that's just my thoughts, of course. With it closing at $6.83, it is trading between this S3 and this S2. So so in comparison to a lot of other growth stocks, it's kind of garbage, if that makes sense. So a lot of other growth stocks are trading between these two points right here. So the S1 to the pivot. And in some cases, some stocks that are really somewhat fundamentally broken are trading between this S2 and this S1. So in SoFi's case, it's being categorized as kind of just garbage by Wall Street at least. So I think that's just, in my opinion, a very big overreaction because based on SoFi's earnings, obviously you guys don't need to hear the spiel again. Like they hit a home run every time. So they actually have a lot of good growth in their, uh, what they've been doing and still planned for the foreseeable future, especially Chris during the recent shareholder meeting on the 21st did reiterate their 2026 guidance. So I don't think it should be categorized as uh, within this range, but still $6.67 will be that next strong support that you'll want to watch for in the next couple days. Vice versa, just watch for a recovery to $6.91. So this S2, so most likely tomorrow it will be flirting with this S2, probably trading between this S2 in fact and that seven dollar range so that seven dollar range is going to be a very strong resistance brought on by options but on the actual chart itself so let's zoom in here so it is lower percentile of the boiling band you see a very bearish deviation you also see it at roughly around 18 so it is considered somewhat oversold and number of retail investors have been getting out so somewhat mixed results very positive the fact that Anthony did buy. I think that's kick-ass news. Aside from that, though, it's just the technicals are hanging on by a very, very thin thread. And so, for instance, if it does break this point right here, like I kind of insinuated, that 667, this is where you could see instantly low sixes coming sooner rather than later. So, so far, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's one of those weird, weird stocks. It actually has good results based on their earnings, just institutions seem to overlook it. I don't know if it's because of direct competition with bigger entities or something else. So what's your thoughts? Have you been buying SoFi? Have you been selling? What have you been doing? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.